Good morning, wonderful people, and thank you for pressing that button and joining me on today's CGC Graded Slabs, Captain America, the Rick Remender's Years. Um, we have two episodes to go. Next week will be the penultimate episode, and then the week after that will be the final episode. And, uh, yeah, some nice surprises to show you in that one. So, it's, um, notice the hat. I'm all togged up in my thermal thing. Uh, not, uh, as you can see, not uh, recording from the greenhouse today. It's back in the summer house. Fire is on. It's still relatively early and it is cold. Late autumn, early winter's just kicking in. So, got my coffee and I, I'm also joined today with some toast. Yum, yum, yum. So today, guys and gals, I'm going to be showing you. Put my coffee down somewhere safe, he says. Issues number 13 to 18, that's basically uh, 13, 14, two issues of 15, three issues of 16, two issues of 17, and three issues of 18. Right, roll up the sleeves time, and let's dig in. Marvellous, lovely Carlos Pacheco cover. Uh, there we go. So I'm just reading on CGC's little notes there that the uh, in this year reads January 2013. Don't know why they even bothered noting that to be honest. But there we go. And that's like a, a healthy 9.6. Love Carlos Pacheco's work. I think he's a fabulous artist. He kind of has like a um, a Kirby action-esque art that he puts into his work, but he does it without Kirby's exaggerated perspective, if that makes sense. And uh, the man can draw in proportion. Beautiful. Another quick flash of that. Oh, and how's the job going? Thanks for asking again. Uh, it's going quite well. Almost like a quietish week this week. But out of five working days, two working days, I took zero. But the three days in the working week where I did make some money was acceptable. So I'm not gonna have to go back to eating just uh, cereal in the morning and that's it. So uh, yeah, uh, just over the third week, looking good. Always fingers crossed, guys and gals, as you never know what's around the corner. Issue number 14. Uh, again, this is a beautiful 9.8. With a Carlos Pacheco cover again. Beautiful. Very nice, very nice. And there's the Falcon in the background. Always second. <laughs> Always just that little bit too late. And here we have standard issue of Cap 15. Jim Chung and Laura Martin cover. Love the little detail which they put in. Can you note the stitching around Cap's A on that mask? It's just the little touches that I like. Healthy 9.8. Beautiful art. Uh, so with myself, what drew me into comics originally it wasn't really the storytelling. I mean, to like a uh, nine-year-old, nine, ten-year-old, um, you didn't need to have a vast expanse of storytelling to grab my attention. What grabbed me was the art, and to a larger extent, it, that's what still holds me into comics. It's the artwork. Nice. 
Just a little advert on the back for Winter Soldier, the Bitter March number one. And here we have the variant issue, variant issue, variant edition of issue 15. A Francesca Mattina cover at a 9.8. If you hear a bit of a burble going on in the background, I think that's the gas is about to run out on my fire. And I'll be plunged into the autumny, wintry coldness again. Or I could just buy a new gas bottle. Yeah, it's just a standard variant edition. And now we have... I don't know why Marvel did this. This is Captain America 16 dot now issue with a Nick Klein cover at a 9.8 Very nice Inside it's Pascal Alix, Alixe and Edgar Delgado art. So it's just like a, just like a quick fill-in issue, I think. Then we have a variant edition of the same issue. Uh, beautiful art by Lee Bermijo. It's beautiful art, but there's one thing that kind of gets me. And Cap on this issue's art suffers from the same problem. It looks like he's wearing a pair of jeans. And that's kind of like exactly the thing that uh, turned me off when, I don't know, I can't even remember how many years back now, uh, when Superman was back. They portrayed him as a working class man in a pair of jeans. He's a superhero. He's above us mere mortals. I mean, Cap's just a mere man, but an enhanced one of us. But no, don't stick him in jeans, guys and gals. But apart from that, the artwork's beautiful. 9.8. Lovely. And now we have the 16 point now Heliopolis variant cover. Ah uh, yeah, you know, I remember kind of sourcing this and thinking, well, you know, I'm a completist at this moment in time. Still, 9.8. Is it Chris Eliopoulos? Yes. Oh well. Like Pokemon. Gotta get them all. Issue number 17. This is when things got just a little bit silly in the Cap storyline, really. Um, very imaginative of Rick Remender doing this. This one has a Nick Klein cover. And art inside. Um, yeah. Is it Dr. Mind Bubble? Mm. Okay, full props to uh, Rick for trying to push the envelope a little bit. Expand the bubble, if you like. But I think at this point in time, Rick was kind of like stretching. Yeah, it's a, it's a kind of, you know... It's always good, in a way, to push the envelope, but in this particular case, why? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm split on this one, really. Um, 
I love Rick Remender's storytelling. I love the way he expands the Marvel Universe, or any universe which he partakes in, to be honest. But uh, Dr. Mindbubble, what? There's you know, some guy with a glass pipe stuck in his head. Blowing bubbles. Next. This is a variant edition of number 17. This is more like it. This is a, a Rags Morales and Edgar Delgado cover. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a 9.8. Lovely. Beautiful. And number 18, standard issue. Oh, dear me, Nick Klein cover art, 9.8. Yeah, can you dig it, baby? Oh, I don't think I can, really. Still, it's true to say with, uh, you know, 80 years of history now, you can't love everything that Cap did. It's impossible to like absolutely everything. There's going to be some, certainly some highs, mostly highs. But you're going to get some lows as well. And mm, Can you dig it, baby? Afraid not. Variant edition of number 18. Uh, this is a Glen Fabry cover. Not quite my art choice. But hey, it's Glen Fabry. And that's at a, a nine. So it's still quite high up there. But there must be some issue somewhere that I, that I missed, some sort of crease or something. Get the glare off the slab. And I've just noticed that I, uh, I'm i not allowing myself enough time to have a slip of my coffee. On oh, a quick hi to all the new subscribers. Thanks very much for uh, doing that for me. Um, a lot have been sent by one of the most awesome people on this, this beautiful planet, Metarog. So, Cheers, Metarog. Thank you so much. Racing ahead to the uh, to finish that 300 subscriber drive. So I think I just hit 220 last night. Uh, only another 80 to go, then I shall find something extremely special, um, and I will do that randomizer, and uh, someone's going to have something beautiful. It's not going to cost them anything just as a thank you for, for subscribing. To this English man and his Captain America obsession, and his Alan Class obsession, but that's for other videos. Right, one more sip of this, and then I shall show you the last issue of four today. It's another variant of number 18. This is the Brown variant cover, Adam Brown. Yeah, I can dig that cap with his old shield, 9.6. Oh, there we go. Love it. There we are, lovely guys and gals. I now will bid you a fond farewell until next week. Um, Two more episodes of the CGC Graded Slabs series to go on Cap and Rick Remender's run. Um, and if I remember, I shall be showing you something a little bit special on that very last episode to tie it all in. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Um, I'm not even going to touch on this particular week's politics. So I won't. Um, right, okay, enough of that. 
See you next week. Thanks for watching. Um, have a very safe week ahead of you. And I hope you've had a great week previous to the last episode. Um, be safe, be well, love your loved ones. Hug them tight. And um, be well. Be well. See you next week, guys and gals. Bye for now.